Greetings, fellow artists, and welcome to another episode of You Saw It, Now Draw It. My name is Scott Gabala Broxholm, and I'm a children's illustrator, author, and caricaturist. And today, I'm going to show you how to draw a dragonfly. So grab your paper and pencil and eraser, and let's get going. A few interesting facts about dragonflies. First and foremost, dragonflies do not sting. In spite of this looking maybe somewhat threatening, they do not sting you. Second of all, they've actually been around for 300 million years. And uh, supposedly having a dragonfly on your head is considered good luck. They can fly up to 30 miles an hour and they range in size from half an inch to over five inches long, like about that size. They like to eat mosquitoes and gnats. Their eyes are made up of thousands of smaller eyes that allow them to see in all directions. They need to keep, they need to keep, in, in order to keep warm, what they do is they warm up in the sun first in the morning before taking off and flying for most of the day. And sort of a cousin of the dragonfly is a damselfly, and people often get them confused, but damselflies are actually thinner um, from head to, to the tail there, to the end of it whereas dragonflies are bulkier or bigger in the middle. Okay, let's begin. Where we're gonna start with this, we're gonna look for the shapes first, and then we're gonna add the details. In this particular case here, as in often is the case, we're gonna start with the middle here, not with the head to the tail, but more the middle here. I think this is called the thorax, the middle here. Well, in any event, we'll start with this shape, so what do you see? Take the wings off, the tail, the head, the legs. Just this shape is kind of a, an oval shape, isn't it? So on your paper, find a good spot down here. And what we're going to do is we're going to start here. And we're going to draw an oval egg shape. Sort of at an angle. There's our egg shape there. Okay. And then from that shape here, from that egg shape, what we're going to do is we're going to draw right next to it here, kind of coming out a little bit, we're going to draw a second smaller oval shape like this. And from that, we might as well go all the way up the tail here. Now, what we're going to do with the tail, I think the easiest way to do this would be to draw, start here, and what we're going to do is we're going to draw a line. It comes right up like this, and then we're going to stop and turn it up a little bit and go over like that, like a little hook. Come back down here again, and we're going to draw. And it's about the same distance. It doesn't get thinner. So we're going to bring that up like that. Stop. Turn it around a little bit, like a little hook there. Bring it in a little bit. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come up and over and touch it like that. Coming up, out a little bit, and touch it. And actually I see another little line that curls up like that. Okay, now what we're going to do is... These are actually in sections. I don't know if you can see this or not, but there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the second oval shape. We're going to come up a little bit, and right about here, we're going to draw a little slightly curved line. Then what we're going to do, if you, you can measure it for your fingers maybe like this if you want. Come up a little bit, and we're going to draw a second one about the same space. Measure it again like this. Come up again. Third one. Fourth one. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five. I beg your pardon. There's six. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, and six like that. Each one has about the same amount of space. 
Then what we're going to do is we're going to go to each one of these. Watch what I do. I'm going to come up and over and touch that line just a little bit like that. Do the same thing underneath it so we're coming out just a little bit. If you keep doing this to each one, just a little bit come out, not too much. And I'll stop in just a second to give you a chance to catch up. It'll look a little more like these segments going up here. And of course, you could always take your eraser and erase a little bit of that line in there if you want. Okay, now let's go to the other end with a head here. So obviously, let's go to the left side of this oval shape here. And what we're going to do for this head, the easiest thing I think is we're just going to draw this first eye. Okay, so we're going to come up a little bit, we're going to come down a little bit, come around like this. So what did I do? Well, actually, you know, it almost looks like a capital letter D backwards, doesn't it? Kind of that straight line here, but we're going this way instead of the other way around. Then right next to this, what we're going to do, we're going to draw a little line coming up and over like this, and we're going to do a second, sort of an oval shape that comes around like that. A little smaller than the first one here, the round part. Then underneath it, what we're going to do is let's, let's go to this backwards D. We're going to draw a line that comes in just a little bit like this, and we're going to come around until it touches that, like that. This is this part right here. And then I knew it might be a little hard for you to see, but what we've got next to it is a little jelly bean shape like that. So we have kind of a little diamond shape in the center, right in the center there, if we're doing it correctly. Okay. Now what we're going to do, let's add some legs. What we're going to do, I don't think all the legs are being represented here, so there should be six legs. I'm thinking this might be the sixth one back there, but anyway, let's start with this. Let's go right into the neck here, right next to the where the body touches the head here. And what we're going to do is bring a line so that it comes over just a little like that. Next to it, we're going to draw a straight line. So a slight curved line and a straight diagonal line. Then what we're going to do is we're going to turn it around a little bit, like a little hook, like that. And we're going to draw a diagonal line that comes down like that. Then go back into this slight curve line here. We're going to come over a little bit and bring it down to a point. And on the end of the point, put a little number one and an upside down letter V, or actually it kind of looks like an upside down letter Y there, doesn't it? Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go back to this leg. We're going to move over just a little bit on the middle part of the dragonfly. And this time we're going to draw, come out a little bit and draw another diagonal line coming down like this. Then what we're going to do is we're going to bring it up and over like that. I think I may have gone a little bit too far. Let me make that a little shorter here, like that. Then we're going to take that line and we're going to bring a diagonal line down like this. And on the end, another diagonal line coming out like this with a little letter V. Once again, that sort of upside down, or in this case, sideways letter Y. Let's go back up here. We're going to move over just a little further on the oval, and this time what we're going to do is we're going to come in a little bit like this, so it's almost touching, and then we're going to come back and draw another diagonal line coming out all the way over here, stopping, bringing it over, and then bring it to a point. So we're almost touching this first line. See how very thin it is. Then come up a little bit, and I believe the other leg has got to be behind here somewhere because I just see another little line coming out, another sort of a sideways letter Y there. In this case, what we're going to do is 
We're going to go back to this leg here. Oh, actually, I beg your pardon. We're actually going to go back to this one here. We're going to come out a little ways, and we're going to bring another diagonal line down like this with another letter Y at the end. And let's put a second line to make it a little thicker. I think what's happening is there's actually a leg right here, and this back one is coming out like that. Okay, let's finish off these confusing legs here by moving over a little further and we're going to put a letter U right underneath here. And from that letter U, and it's kind of touching that leg, we're going to move over a little bit and draw another line coming down, a shorter line this time, with another letter Y upside down, sideways, and another line coming to a point there. For the final leg, you can kind of only see it partly from the other side of this eye. It's behind the eye here, isn't it? So what we're going to do is we're going to go to this eye far away here in the distance off to the side. And we're going to bring two diagonal lines, short ones down like that. And then we're going to bring them over to a point, And you'll never guess what we're going to add. Another little letter Y like that. Okay, let's add the wings, just the outside shape of the wings here, and a couple lines in there, and then we can go back to the details. Let's go to the top of this oval shape here that we started with, and what we're going to do is we'll come up here and draw a little upside-down U. We're going to move over a little bit, and another little upside-down U. Almost looks like eyes on a frog, perhaps. From the first one we just drew over to the left, what you're going to do is take your pencil, Start here. What we're going to do is you're going to come up and in a little bit and over a little bit till we get to the top. So what we're going to do is we'll come over here a little bit. We'll move it on, coming in just a little bit. And we're going to go back up again until we get right up to the top and turn it around. When we get to the top, bring the line out a little bit like this. We're going to stop. And we're going to bring it right back in. But in this case, it looks like it almost touches the second one, doesn't it? So what we're going to do is we'll bring it down like this. So it's not coming to the first one. It's coming to the side over here of the second little bump on its back. Then from this one here, what we're going to do is we're going to draw a line up. It's close to the other one, but not touching. We're going to stop like we did with this. We're going to bend it over a little bit so it comes up here, but this one is a little higher, so when we get up, come a little higher up before we turn it around, and we're going to bring it back way over like this, and actually I'm going to correct myself, we're going to come even further out like this, to we come all the way down like this, we're going to stop, actually we're going to touch the tail here before we come back in like this to touch that bump. Give you, a, give you a little bit of time here to catch up. It was a lot to digest there. Okay. Let's add just a couple of lines in here. Then we'll add more details a little bit later on. Go back to this bump. We're going to move over a little bit. And what I see is this main line coming up. So it's coming out a little bit going in till it gets up to here and then it gets really close like that and I'm going to put a little letter U right there and let's come down a little bit because what I see here is I see another little letter flattened out U and one right here one two three one two three okay we're going to stop with that wing for a second we're going to come over here and do the same thing on this side I see this one coming out it's going in a little bit. It's actually getting it's actually this one touches, comes right up here and touches it like that. Just like before, we've got one, two, and three of those little flattened out U's. Alright. 
Now, actually, a dragonfly doesn't have two wings. It actually has uh, four wings. So what I'm seeing here is these are the two in the front. These two in the back here, we, see, we are seeing more lighter, more faint. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to this bump. We're going to come up and draw another one that comes around like this. And this one here is a diagonal line that comes up like this. And then it comes back in. It's like a triangle, isn't it? It comes in like this. Okay. Let's add a few little details on, on the um, insect itself. And then we'll finish off with the, the, uh, the wings. Okay. Back to the insect. This would be great, too, later on if you wanted to color it, since it's such bright colors here. The eye here, what I'm seeing... You see a little line that comes out, like one little hair here. And what we're going to do is, on the eye here, what I see, I see a little triangle shape coming down like this. Do you see these little, faint little, they look like three little jelly bean shapes next to each other on that. Then I see another line, a diagonal line here, right here. I see another little jelly bean shape right next to the outside. These kind of like the highlights reflecting off of the eyes. They have that iridescent shininess to them. Now in terms of the body here, the center part, whoa, what shape is this? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to draw a straight line here. Okay, We're going to come down, around, back up again. We're going to stop, come down, and back up. It kind of actually looks like a, a mitten like a cooking mitten or a, um, a mitten you'd wear going outside. Underneath that, see this little, we see a little triangle like that. Then move down and put another triangle, sort of a mirror image there. We're going to move over and we're going to start here. We're going to draw a line, straight line here. We're going to come down, around, kind of moves over a little bit and back up again like that. There's a thin little shape over here. There's a little jelly bean shape there. And another little jelly bean shape underneath or at the, the top there of our glove. I'll give you a chance to catch up here because I know I did that quickly. Underneath this shape here, there's sort of a triangle shape as well, isn't there? And then We'll do this quickly here to finish up. This part of the oval shape, the smaller oval shape, I see sort of a triangle shape there. Next to it is kind of a rectangle with a little point at the end. There's another little shape over here and a triangle up here. The shapes here, once again, this part here, it's coming up, down at a diagonal, and in. And um, I'll let you put, you can easily put the rest of these shapes on later if you want. I'm going to stop on that for now and just finish up with the wings and then we're all done with our dragonfly. Now, how do we do all this intricate pattern? Well, one step at a time. It's not as hard as you think. What we're going to do is right next to this line that we drew inside this big wing here, we're going to draw close to it. We're going to draw another line that gets that's close to it, almost parallel, that comes up like this. We're going to draw from that line, we're going to move over a little bit, and we're going to draw another one that comes up like this, but is shorter and curves around like this. I don't know if you can see it, but it's this line right here that we're doing. Between these two lines, we're going to put a line like this and another line like this coming up, like the beginning of a ladder. Then, from that second line, we're going to come up and touch the other one like that. Hopefully this isn't getting too confusing. All right, let's leave that one for a second. We'll go to the other side here. What I see over here, if we go over here, oh, oh, over here. Right over here, we're going to come up. See these two lines here? Right in between, we're going to do another little line that comes over. I'm going to bring one up, kind of like the other one, that curves and shorter like that. 
There is one, if you go to the top here, this is probably easier to do it this way. We're going to draw a line that curves around and touches here. And then to finish this off, all this intricate little pattern, which is really beautiful, a simpler way to do this, all right, I'm, I'll just do it with the one wing here, is if you draw, and it doesn't have to be too dark, if you draw some lines coming in like this, and I see another one that comes over like this, and we keep drawing these like this, come in very lightly, see I'm not pressing too hard, and then take your pencil and go across it like this, and you can go like this, they don't have to be straight lines, because if you look at this, I don't know if you can see this or not, but they're not really in straight lines, kind of like a spider web. So you could bring it down like this. So we're crisscrossing over like that. And that'll give more of an effect, kind of look like what we're seeing here. You can do the same thing over here. I'll just get us started here. Bring your line up and down across it like this. And that'll give the impression of that very fine detail work in the wings. All right. Now, there is a shadow actually underneath this insect because it's on the ground. But if you want it flying, let's skip the shadow. What we can do, though, to make it look like it's flying is add something that artists call speed lines. So next to these wings, put two or three little lines. They're not touching like this. Already it looks like the wings are fluttering, doesn't it? And then what you can do, if the insect is flying along the page, let's add a few little speed lines like this, maybe coming off the line like this. And oh, I beg your pardon, there was one last detail I forgot, and that's the very fine little hairs here coming down the legs. So very carefully, we're putting the legs, the hairs rather, on the legs to look like this. Do this fast and I'll give you a chance to catch up here. All right, and I know it's hard to see, but that's here too. So what I'm doing is, as the leg comes down, this side is the diagonal this way, and this side we're making diagonal lines like that. Okay, and we finally have our finished dragonfly zipping through the air. How did you do? I bet you did a fantastic job. Well, until next time, as always, keep on sketching and draw some awesome pictures.